This is August 7th, 2014, Ziegler Residence Boiler Replacement. Um, we took out the old boiler, oil boiler with a coil for making hot water, and we installed the Bedaris uh, oil boiler. We've reinstalled the fuel filter and Tiger Loop assembly, which eases the ability of fuel being brought to the burner. We've also repiped all of the distribution piping. So now we have multiple zones. Before we had three, which was basement, uh, living room, and master bedroom areas. And now we've got this fourth zone, which is our water heater zone. And that's our zone controller, which handles up the four zones and makes the water heater the priority zone. And the water heater is kicking on right now. The zone valve is charging and then it will open as soon as the capacitor gets done charging. the open position. The controller recognizes it. The controller on the boiler recognizes that there's a call for heat or making hot water. Starts the boiler up and then the burner will start now. So now there's flame going on inside. Now on the smoke pipe, you will enter elimination expansion tank, new automatic feeder. We also have the Grunfoss Alpha circulator, which is a smart pump, understands uh, how many zones are running by how much pressure is running ahead of it, and it draws very little electricity. Right now it's only drawing 11 watts, and if you compare that to a light bulb, it draws 75 or 100, so it draws very little power. And if more zones call, um, the pump will understand and ramp up in speed automatically. If we come down here, we have our new indirect water heater. It's a stainless steel inner tank, carbon impregnated outer tank. We've got unions and valves and brand new three quarter copper piping. And we've got boiler in and boiler out piping in the back. We've got unions everywhere um, for ease of replacement, although the water heater is a 10-year warranty and so is the boiler. We've also installed two brand new oil tanks. They're standard oil tanks um, and they're piped with black iron piping going to the outside of the building so they can be filled from the outside. Um, there is a mechanical gauge as well as a remote gauge. Mechanical gauges, you know, just look at it and it tells you how much fuel you have. But the rocket gauge, that's the transmitter. And then what we're going to do is we're going to move the receiver up into the house. Right now the receiver is right there, telling us how much fuel is in the tanks. We're going to move that receiver up into the kitchen so this way they can see it and uh, know how much fuel they have without coming down to take a look. It will also blink red when there's 24 hours of fuel supply left in these tanks, approximately. So that red indicator light flashing at them would spark them to make a phone call, uh, me or their oil company. There's a brand new oil line from the two oil tanks that are piped together that runs across the ceiling and over to the burner. In this area, we also cut back all the heating piping and ran PEX tubing, heating tubing, over to our new distribution network, which is the zone valves and circulator and all that jazz that's up on the wall. Um, in the process of doing all this work, we found that there was a leak on the bathtub up in the ceiling right there and it was dripping onto our new boiler, so we replaced that piping. 
uh, and we also replaced the kitchen sink faucet because that just needed to be done. Uh, it was being held together with duct tape. That's not cool. So if you have any questions, give me a ring. Thank you very much.